Hi, welcome to Troubadour's video install guide for the Coolant's VID428 GPU water cooling block. Before installing a water block on any video card, check with the video card's manufacturer just to make sure you're not invalidating any warranties by removing that original air block. In this particular instance, EVGA as well as XFX have modder friendly warranties, so providing we don't physically damage the card during this installation, we should be okay. Just remember to keep all the screws and components coming off the video card just in case you need to RMA it back at a later date. So let's conduct a quick inventory. Here's our comprehensive install guide, thermal pads, replacement screws, memory heat sink plate, coolants video card water block, alcohol cleansing swabs, thermal compound, an assortment of screwdrivers and of course our GTX 280 video card. Start by turning the card over and we'll need to remove the 10 screws holding the original memory heatsink plate into place. Also the two screws on the L bracket. When we've removed the screws, we'll need to separate the casings on the video card. In order to do this, you'll need to pry on the plastic tabs holding those two casings together. Just be very careful when you pry on those tabs because they're made of plastic and extremely delicate. Now we're nearly done, just continue prying on the tabs until we gently separate those two parts. There you go, there's the original memory heatsink plate as well as our video card. Now we need to remove the two silver screws, those are the only ones that remain in holding the original air block onto the video card itself, so let's take those screws out. Now gently pick the card up and rock the card and the cooler away from each other. Turn the card over and do the same on the other side and off she comes. Now you separated your air cooler from your video card, you're nearly there. Now we need to remove the fan connector off the graphics card and we're done. There it is, there's our graphics card. Look at the size on that GPU for that 200 series card, awesome. Absolutely humongous. And now we're in cleanup operation. We just need to make sure that every surface that's going to make contact to our water block is thoroughly cleansed and all residue from the old thermal pads and thermal compound removed, including our GPU, memory chips, voltage regulator, and PCIe chip. Same goes for the memory heatsink backing plate. Need to make sure that's thoroughly clean as well as our water block itself, just in case we get any grease left on there from the manufacturing process or oily fingerprints. Now we're going to cut out the thermal pads to the correct size and shape using the Coolance cutting guide. Coolance give you two different thickness pads for this particular application, so make sure you choose the appropriate ones. Now you should have 16 pads for your memory chips, 7 pads for your voltage regulators and 1 for your PCIe chip. Very important, remember to remove the plastic film from both sides of the brown thermal pad and the thicker pink thermal pad of plastic just on one side, very important. After we've installed the thermal pads to the memory heatsink backing plate as well as the water block, we just need to apply some thermal compound to the GPU, spread it out as thinly and evenly as possible. Carefully line up your water block on the video card, making sure that it lines up with all the areas that will need contact with your thermal pads and your GPU as well as your screw holes. Now turn your video card over, make sure your screw holes line up, and now we're going to install the memory heatsink plate. Again, place the plate on carefully and make sure all the screw holes line up. Let's install a few screws around the GPU first to hold that plate in place. I normally install them in a diagonally opposite pattern first and then work my way outwards. And there you go, let's button this puppy up. There is the Coolance VID428 water block. Not a bad looking water block at all. And there you have it. Three water cooled GTX280 video cards using Coolance VID. 
four to eight water blocks. Awesome. The Coolance VID428 GP water cooling block is a fantastic high quality component that's a relatively easy and straightforward install on your GTX 280 260 video card. I feel the install can be conducted by anyone who is a relatively newcomer to water cooling right away through to your more advanced extreme water coolers out there with an average install time of anything from 15 to 20 minutes depending on experience. I hope this video guide helped you. Uh, once again I'd like to thank all my subscribers out there, especially you guys who rate these videos and post comments on them. As always, if you do enjoy these videos, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.